Hello friends, welcome to my channel, The Invisible Maths Teacher. So today I'm here in front of you with another part of arithmetic sequence, again number pattern question itself. So let us proceed. Here we have the question as, uh, the number pattern is given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the question is to find the first and the last term of 10th line and also to find the sum of all terms in first 10 lines. So basically I told you what is our first method to write down how many terms are there in each line. So let us proceed. Here you can see in my first line there is one term. So I am going to write. Okay, first line. One term. second line two terms third line three terms so the question is regarding the tenth line you can see here find the first and last term of tenth line and also to find some of all terms in first year ten lines so the question is regarding the uh, tenth line so what we do is we have to consider just the previous line also so in the ninth line ninth line there will be nine terms and the 10th line will be having 10 terms so now what is the meaning of this is first line there is one term second line two terms third line three fourth line four terms like this fifth term five lines it goes like this so first we have to find out the sum of all the terms how many terms are there here one term plus two terms plus three terms plus four terms so we have to sum up all these numbers up to ninth line and also up to tenth line okay so how do we do first let me sum up up to the ninth line let me see how many terms are there if you add all these terms how many uh, how many terms will be there up to nine lines so here I'm going to write for S of 9 that is sum of terms up to 9th line that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to 9. Natural number starting from 1 means half into last number into next number. So we have 90 by 2 which is equal to 45. Now coming to our 10th line let us see. In the 10th line also, same thing, number number is like 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10. So natural number starting from 1, so half into last number into next number. So we will be having 55. That means there will be 45 terms. There will be 45 terms from 1st line to 9th line. And there will be 55 terms from 1st line to 10th line. So can I say 45 is the position of last term of ninth line and 55 is the position of last term of 10th line? Yes or no? Last term, this is the last uh, position of la position of last term of uh, ninth line and this is the position of last term of 10th line. That is, this is our N for ninth line last position and this is the last term position for our 10th line so how can we do this here we have the number pattern as like this one two three four up going like this so what is our first term is one common difference is one what is our a minus d zero as you all know without this also you can do as you know this is simply natural numbers we can write our xn is simply n natural number so what will be our 45th term okay I'll write here what will be our 45th term we have xn is equal to n so what will be for, uh, 45th term i told you 45 is the position of the last term yes if you put here n is equal to 45 your answer will be 45 itself so who is this 45 now this is the last term of ninth line last term of ninth line if the last term of the ninth line is 45 what will be the first term of the 20th line see when you have 3 here last term next first term is 3 plus 1 4 on in this line when you have 6 as the last term 
what is the first term of next line 6 plus 1 so if this is the last term of ninth line last term of ninth line then what is the first term of next line yes we have 46 this will be the first term of who first term of 10th line now similarly we have x of 10 eh, sorry x of 55 why 55 i have taken here because i want to know what is the term in the 55 55th position understood because i told you that this is the position now after finding the sum now this is the position last term last term position of 10th line so what term will appear in this position so we have 55 only xn is n so x55 is 55 that means this is the so i can write here this is the last term okay i'm writing here this is the this is the last term of 10th line and this is the first term of 10th line okay so hope you understood this one this is the first bit this is the first bit of the question yes children now our second part of the question is to find sum of all terms in first 10 lines they are asking us to find the sum of all terms in first 10 lines so here we have 10 lines are here i have marked all the 10 lines here one term two terms three terms four terms finally we have 10 terms so we have to find the sum of all these terms and we understood that there are 55 terms now 55 total terms yes or no till ninth line we have 45 terms so that, uh, up to 10 lines we have 55 terms and we know the first term was one first term was 1 and our last term was 55 okay so this is simply natural number starting from 1 so we have the uh, terms like this 1 plus 2 plus up to 55 they are asking us to find the sum of all this uh, natural numbers starting from 1 so what how can we do we have got 55 terms so just the formula is half into last number into next number here we can cancel this one uh, 2 into how much 2 into 28 is uh, 56 so we got the answer as 1 5 4 0 that means if you sum up all these 55 terms from first line to end of 10th line the sum will be 1 5 4 0 yeah now here we have another model okay the number pattern is 4 7 10 13 16 19 22 25 28 31 so let us do now here they again what i told you is to write how many terms are there in each line so first line first line i have one term second line two terms third line three terms okay now the question is to find the first and last term of 20th line first and last term of 20th line we have to find for the 20th and so i'm marking here okay 20th line so i told you that we have to consider the previous line also so in the 19th line we will be having 19 terms and 20th line we will be having 20 terms now coming to this part look at the sequence now 4 7 10 13 this is an arithmetic sequence okay we have the first term as 4 common difference is uh, common difference is 3 and a minus d is equal to 1 so what is our xn xn is equal to 3n plus 1 okay so this is the algebraic form now here the 19th line we must first count how many terms are there from first line to 
19th line like this. That is we have first line we have one term then two terms three terms four terms like this like this from first line to 19th line how many terms are there similarly from first line to 20th line how many terms are there okay and then it's very easy to find out what is what is that last term of 19th line and what is the last term of 20th line so here first i am going to find for 19 lines what is the sum of all the terms from 19 lines we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to 19 so how do we find half into yes half into last number into next number here i will get 190 how 2 1 times and 2 times so 19 into 10 is equal to 190 okay so this is the sum up to 190 so there are 190 terms now we can select that because here one term is the two terms plus three terms plus four terms so up to 19th line end of 19th line means there are 190 terms so we have to just find what is that 190th term now similarly here i am going to show you our 20th line how can we do 20th how can we do 20th line yes just put s of 20 is equal to we have to find for 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to 20 okay so what is the formula half into last term into next term so 2 1 times and 2 10 times we have 210 that means from first line to 20th line there are 210 terms then what is the 210th term it's easy here first we have to find what is that 190th term that is the last term of 19th line this is the la this, uh, this is the position of last term of 20th line so this is the algebraic expression of this uh, number pattern 3n plus 1 so just substitute here x of 190 is equal to 3 into 190 plus 1 so what is that 190th term yes how much 0 570 plus 1 is equal to 571 if this 571 is the last term of 19th line then what will be the uh, first term of 20th line yes what will be the first term of 20th line just we have to add 571 what is the common difference here 3 so 5 74 574 now coming to 210 we have to find the uh, term of this position that is x of 210 is equal to 3 into 210 plus 1 okay 3 into 210 plus 1 okay what is the answer 0 3 6 plus 1 is equal to 631 this is the 210th term this is first term of 20th line see first term of 20th line and this is the last term last term of 20th line so hope this is very clear what you do is when you have such type of number patterns first line has got one term second line two term three line three terms or so 19th line has got 19 terms and 20th line has got 20 terms then you find out the sum of all the terms up to 19 lines that is you have to do like this then you have to find the sum of all the terms up to 20th line did you get this this is the final position this is the final position okay so it's easy just this is our algebraic uh, uh, algebraic expression for this arithmetic sequence 3n plus 1 so we know 190th position means last term of 19th line 210 means last term of 20th line just find out what what is the term in that 190 just put n is equal to 190 and find out you will get 571 is the last term of 19th line if last term is 571 just add 3 to get the first term of 20th line similarly just put 210 to get the last term of 20th line 
If you find this video useful, please do share, subscribe and press on the bell icon for getting the notifications. Thank you.